by the name of the gut <coughs> design of water structure regulator structure this is the shape of the, some of the regulators the gears structures there is a plan is moved section A and section B you can imagination for the cross section production function of regulators controlling discharge measuring discharge distributing discharge for storage water this is the functions for regulators note that the grid regulator used in storage can be defined as a sluice dam 5 for decreasing water slope it's a very important decreasing water slope large reservation regulators can be defined as a barrages classification of regulators one according to position there is a head regulator in the beginning of the canal carrier it is found that the, of the beginning of a canal to control the discharge that enters to the canal. End regulators, escape regulator, it is found at the end of the canal to get rid of the excess discharge inside the canal. C diversion regulator, it is located in the middle area of the canal, approximately, of course for the following div diversion of the sub-canals D control regulator E intermediate regulator it is found along the canal to control for discharge to control for discharge and the water level there is five types according to position according to Cemetery. If it is symmetric or unsymmetric, there is a symmetric and unsymmetric. This is relating to the using. According to material of construction, there is a reinforcement concrete regulator, bricks regulator, mix it from this and this. According to water profile. You can imagination what will happen. Location for regulator according to bed level, there is something like that. If upstream, it is not le level of the bed of regulator, or it's the same, but the downstream, it is not. Uh, there is another types due to. Uh, upstream bed level and downstream level let's tell that in the first inter intermediate regulator something like that head of intermediate regulator uh, preferred agreement not recommended we don't like this uh, components of regulator reinforceable concrete bridge piers, floors, gates, lifting device, abutment, sheet piles, sill under gate, handrail, filter. That's clear in the drawing. Division of flow through diversion canals. Look, we can't Q divided to many parts that's the pentagon on heading up for every branch and there is equations that appear in the graphics
there is water velocity small canal cross sectional area at upstream uh, a capital its area of regulator vents alpha and beta divergent angle that's appear in the drawing for intermediate regulator theta equal zero cosine theta equal one and the opposite for head regulator theta equal 90 degree cosine theta equal zero and so on peer it is the large peer if its width is greater than the normal peer as its width range from 2p to 3 something like that due to the width of the pier it is used if the number of the regulator exceeds 10 slots 10 slots and every five slots are placed as shown in figure the benefits increase the stability of regulator base preventing complete collapse of the regulator Stepped weir, it is due to the difference between upstream and downstream is large, is big, to reduce construction costs. Velocity through regulator vents, small, moderate, big barrages on rivers, span for small, one to two meters. Water velocity one meter per second for moderate the span between two to four meter the velocity bet between one point two five to two one and a half meter per second. If regulator is big for for less than width of span less than five from four to five and velocity from one point five to two meter per second for barrages or rivers the span between five and eight more than five and less than uh, but more to eight or more for uh, water velocity uh, two meter per second to 2.5 meter per second something like that in the uh, sectional water surface profile at location of regulated Types of flow through regulators. Flow above the gate, under the gate, or below the gate, between the gates. The work is as a weir, you will flow above the gate. Work is an orifice. Flow below gates. Clear over full or arrangements of double gates, maybe. Cases more scar, something like that. No friction with floor at downstream of gates. Regulator structure forces acting on regulator. P upstream, upstream, PD, P downstream water pressure uh, PL water pressure in lateral direction when one vent is closed PW wind pressure or exposed surface W1 weight of bridge and live load for worst case of loading W2 on weight of pier W3 on weight of gates and lifting apparatus if any this is, uh, sections clear that there is difference between upstream water level and downstream water level and there is electrical drive chamber uh, direct rails and so on all this weight on the regulator.
important questions. Regulators are used the series to reduce the insalination of water surface inside canals or to store quantities of water. And the regulators are used in parallel to distribute that starch between canals. For this reason, regulators are used in series or regulators are used in parallel. This depends on the purposes. What regulator works as weir and how the weir works as regulator? And even that there is, there is, there is shawled under the gate of the regulator. And when the gate is finally lifted, this there should act as a weir. This as a weir on the left. On the right, in order for the weir to work like a regulator, it can be provided with gate above the third shoulder of the weir. When a regulator is known as a sluice dam, regulator can be defined as a sluice dam if all its gates are closed to block water in front of it. To closed are closed to block water in front of it. <laughs> 